Hi and welcome back to Lincolnshire Fen Crafts. This is the second part of the uh, Parsley Hair Needle Felting tutorial. We've already completed the body in part one. So what we're going to focus on now is creating these legs and getting some really nice symmetry, really nice shape. Um, and these uh, creating these lovely feet at the end. And this is so much easier when we do it on this wooden stick, which is just a barbecue skewer. So we'll carry on from where we left off. If you have just happened upon this video tutorial, go to part one where you'll learn how to create the body. So going back to where we were, we were using the um, a cowded wool. You may be using the brown Shetland carded wool from the kit, or if not, just any carded wool you've got lying around at home. It doesn't really matter. Um, and this, if you are working from a template, this is the section that we're working on now, which is the, um, is the legs. But again, you don't need the template, you don't need the kit, just a nice length of carded wool in whatever colour you want to, to use really. So again, as I said before, this is quite thick. So what we did for the body was we, we split it straight down the middle like so, so that we didn't have a whole load of bulk to be working with so we could get that nice um, shape, that cone shape that we created there. Now with the legs we want them really flat and really sort of um, symmetrical and really quite slim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it again. You don't have to do this if the card, it depends how thick the carded wool is but mine's quite thick so I am going to split it again. And again, we do the same as we did for the body. We, we get hold of our carded wool. And can you see how that, that's going to pull apart quite easily? So you need to hold it quite close to the stick, working from the top where the point is. And we're probably, we're going to make the legs shorter than the finished leg because we're going to roll them to smooth them out, which will lengthen it. So, um, but don't worry too much about that. We can, you can cut them. If they're too long, that's absolutely fine as well. So don't worry about that. Let's just really focus on the shape. So start to wrap around the barbecue skewer, much the same way as we did with the body and the head. Keep those fingers close to that skewer. You don't want this to become loose and unruly. And also you don't want it to break. Just felt gently along those edges again. Make sure that you're careful with that needle to avoid breaking it. And what we're aiming for is these really nice, slim, firm legs. This is the one that I've done previously here. Continue to felt. Keep that wool flat as you turn. Don't let it twist because you don't want any lumps and bumps in this. Keep it tight. And then we're now going to work on the foot area. So what I've done here is I've actually made the foot end bigger because we really want to have a nice sort of chunky foot for this hair. Um, so really shape that. You want a nice, soft, round edge. And really, you probably only need to wrap two or three times for the entire leg itself and then work more on the foot. And then... Once you're happy with the thickness, just really felt it nice and firmly until you're happy with it. But leave the top loose because the top part will be attached to the body. And that's quite important that you leave that loose. So you're working back down. I'm pretty happy with what I've got there. I'm just going to tidy up the foot. I really want to work on that shape now. Make sure that's nice and firm because we don't want it floppy. That's why we don't need any wires because we're really getting this nice and firm. But we will also smooth it up with our hands as well. So diagonally work down that leg, keep that top end loose, make sure that you're really focusing on firming it up uh, and keeping that shape. And then as you can see, I've used a template there, but, it, um, but also compare it to the leg that you've made previously. Don't worry about the legs being too long though, because they can be cut if needs be. And um, I'll show you how to do that if, if I feel that they are too long. And you take it off the skewer, really continue to felt, make sure you're using that topper and, um, you know, really work on getting a nice firm shape. Now we're going to lengthen it now. That's why I said don't 
have it too long on the skewer because when we really firm it and smooth it with our hands look at the difference it makes and it also lengthens that leg so pushing where the foot is really firmly so that you create that that lovely paw for the hair and then make sure legs are about the same size which i'm happy with happy with that just going to shape this foot a little bit more um just you know making sure it's nice and round at the end it's nice and chunky so that it actually looks different to the uh, length of the leg. You know, you, you really want a, a, a noticeable difference there. And because they're really firm, we don't need wires. When we bend them um, to create the paw shape, that we'll do that when we attach everything in the final video, when we put everything together. Um, because it's so firm, it will just bend and hold naturally. Um, just really firm up where the foot finishes. I'm just going to add a little bit more wool here because I think it's slightly smaller than the other foot. So just pop on a little bit of wool. Remember in the previous tutorial, I said it doesn't matter. You can add wool, just don't add too much to start with. You can always build it up and make it bigger. And that's the key with most needle felting projects. Not all, but the majority of needle felting projects, rule of thumb is start with less, add more if you need it, and then just really work on those shapes. So they're looking, um, they're looking pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. So really, um, just checking now as well where these feet are going to sit on the side of the body. Um, we're going to make the second. We're going to make the side legs now. So exactly the same as we did with the uh, front legs, except smaller. It's as simple as that. So do exactly the same, and you're probably aiming for about a third of the size. Again, keeping those ends nice and loose because they're going to be attached. And we don't have to worry too much about how those ends look because they are going to be covered up. We're going to be covering those in wool when we build up those haunches. So, you know, it's, it's quite a quick process, this. Again, you're repeating what you did for the front legs. Um, you make a leg for the side and then you make another to match. It's that simple. But just keep that end loose take it off make sure that the center is really firm you don't want any floppy bits the key to this is making sure that it is really firm right the way through that leg that's why we don't need any wire I don't use wire a lot to be honest you're only for sort of imposing something i want some stability and then just pop a little bit more on as I did with the front leg. Make sure that that paw is nice and chunky and looks completely different to the rest of the leg. And that shape, as you can see now, is, is almost there. I'm just um, tucking in some ends, making sure the ends are really firm and there's no fuzzy bits. I want it nice and smooth. And that's the whole idea of this project is having everything really nice and smooth. So front legs, a bit long. So as you can see, I've trimmed them here and then I've just pulled that loose wool and there you go. You can see it's going to sit quite nicely on the body and make sure that both legs are of equal length and that the wool is loose at the end. That's the important thing. Make sure you click on the video link at the end of this tutorial if you want to learn more about getting a really nice smooth finish. I have an excellent video tutorial for you. And also don't forget to tune in to part three of The Needle Felted Hair.